Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and of course in our continuation of the top 10 frequencies I tune to every day and that is every day when I listen to the radio of course the international broadcast bands all of them and that is really all of them now there are some that are kind of dead you know 11 meters but you never know you know sometimes when there's sporadic e skip other things can pop them in there but uh, generally anywhere from you know 90 meters to um, 13 meters is where I'm gonna go through and check out if there's any signals anything interesting to look at um, you know even if you think nothing might be there go take a peek the number of times I was surprised to hear a signal of a station when I thought well the band must be closed at this time of day uh, it's quite surprising you never know what could happen and so it's worth it to take a peek at all the international broadcast bands uh, in the description below the video I will post a link once again to all the newbies out there that will give you all the international broadcast bands frequency ranges and one thing to note go further than what is written so if it says you know 9400 to 9900 kilohertz start lower go from 9100 up to 10,000 because the bands uh, tend to expand even out of the boundaries where broadcast stations should be uh, officially so don't hesitate also to you know tune a higher frequency in the middle of the night you never know um, especially depending on the season when you're listening it don't hesitate to go to you know the 49 meter band in mid-afternoon even though you might think oh no propagation yeah but there's some local stations sometimes that broadcast there an example I have pretty much clear reception of CFRX Toronto almost all day during daytime on the 49 meter band so you know it gives you an idea that anything can happen and yes there are rules of propagation that will you know prevent you from listening to certain broadcasts at certain times on certain frequencies yet don't you know shortwave hobby is not that thing that you gotta th think everything is like this and that's it it's that hobby that you know let's let's take a peek at that frequency range and is there something I can listen to at the time I'm listening now and I can bet you that by doing this regularly over time you will have a surprise of stations that you didn't think would make it and also I tune all the international broadcast bands because you know yeah there are tons of websites with schedules but shortwave being what it is those schedules are incomplete pretty much all the time new stations or new frequencies from stations pop up all the time you might be surprised to hear something on the frequency and see that hey nobody has listed this what could it be do some little investigation try to find out what it is and uh, you know that's also a rewarding experience um, it's part of the fun of shortwave radio so in the top 10 frequencies that I tune every day the international broadcast bands link in the description to give you the uh, broadcast band frequencies if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching